<laughs> so, we're how can you no, enjoy this? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're finally going to meet Lee Harris, the man, the legend. And you can observe the inhaling, so, you know. Exactly. So I start, start giving them little blows, like, you know, blowing them in a, you know, <laughs> towards them and then, you know, start getting excited, you know. <laughs> and uh, when my time comes, evening time comes yeah. for small, now we are now a good friends, you know, we've been smoking down together for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you and the parents? Yeah, me and my parents, yeah. No, oh my God. <laughs> like an object like Wah! you know it's not gonna you know it's yeah. like you know you think you, you don't even look at the camera and looks yeah. weird you know the camera looks like uh, that's the thing they change it slightly <laughs> oh, look at that my dog he's got a pyramid like this as well yeah and Try if it's alright. It's special, special. Yeah, because well, it's, it's a Sunday, <laughs> Sunday morning. You know, you have to do a bit of bacon. You know, before the church. You know, <laughs> you know this thing. That is my life. Oh, my mother. The mother. Always trying to feed me. This is a bit of sex with an artist drawing. This is quite clever and very lovely. Very nice. Why drink and drive when you can smoke and fly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, this is when I was a family man with my daughters here and... Uh, this is a nice picture. Yes. And I bought this shirt in 1973 in the Tibetan retreat in Scotland called the Sami Ling, where I Hello. became interested in Buddhism. And I bought this here and I wear it on special occasion. It's a real beautiful so it's an old, uh, I wore it in my wife's um, uh, celebration of her life. In the defense fund. And guess who appeared for me? Benjamin Zephaniah, Arthur Smith, I don't know if you know him, he's a well-known English comedian. And Mark Thomas, who's also very well known, on television, and Tony Allen, so he did this. Yeah. My daughter was painting this last night. Oh, so, that's so it's fresh. And I want to use the toilet every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee Harris, tell me, well, about uh, your first psychedelic experience, mm. what was it? Tell us my, about my, it. My first psychedelic experience yes. was, I remember the date, February 1966. It was legal then, and I was in the West End of London, and uh, a friend and I bought a sugar cube for £2.50, and we broke it in half. Yeah. The cube of sugar and LSD was in it. Oh, yeah. And we broke it in half, and we swallowed it, and we came back to my flat in the <laughs> West End, you see, and suddenly everything exploded. And um, we were talking over each other, and we were... And eventually, after it might be an hour or a minute, and if you touched a pot, it clanged. And uh, we decided to go out in the streets. And we were in the West End of London late at night in the clubs. And we saw weird junkies, and we saw the narcotic squads. And I had like a vision of hell, almost. And I wrote my play out of that experience really? called Love Play. Which... Like me, I'm trying, I have to exercise my ankles. Oh, yes. And keep myself walking. Bit of it that. might be good to do Nordic Twirling. Walking. Yeah, Nordic I'm taking walking. up Nordic oh, walking. Oh, that's good with two yes. sticks, yes. That's yeah. right, and it really helps, you know. 
It's uh, good for your balance and it takes the pressure good. off the hips. Well, you've got very good deportment. I know, because I... <laughs> <She walks laughs> a lot. <laughs> Camera ready? And Fuck it! Well, it was a tra complete life-changing thing, but it was like my, <clears throat> looking back on it, it was my first, like, love affair. It had such an overpowering experience, but you never recapture it again. But it leads you on and opens more. It's only every two minutes on, 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 I've got online, I, I didn't realise it's a, well, somewhere in electronic sure. music that says, some people walk in the rain. That, I think, well, I no, it must be David and Matt. I can't go to oh, lovely. India because this guy. Oh, you know. <laughs> spirit and magic. This oh. is the best of, you see, which I did in the 1990s with a fractal, bit, which I wrote myself, and this is my covers. Oh. What did the pictures for the covers? A lot of graphic novelists, <coughs> graphic artists and illustrators I nice employed picture. quite a lot. Oh, it was a life change. You became more aware of the ecology and environment and around one. And also saw the ugliness of the pollution of the big cities and the uh, tragedy of getting into mind trips where you get into other people's minds and sometimes I think if you take psychedelics you should take it in nature and with nature. We had dreams of change, we would change the world and rearrange the world and uh, I, I mean there was an acid backlash I tried to practice what I preach, tried to grow my own vegetables organically, no more chemicals and better understanding of the diversity between man and nature. It's a psychedelic society and there's a movement towards psychedelic and an awareness that psychedelics is, are healing, especially for depression and exactly. many other causes and helps people open up. and. Uh, and to find spirituality. Because if it's not controlled and it's illegal exactly. in a black market, you to say the dose you take. And sometimes people don't even get the real substance. Which yes, is yes, the and they don't. I mean, I, I, I was in 1970 in the Isle of Wight Festival, and I was with a friend, and we bought some trips or some LSD, and it was bum acid. <laughs> and stay high. I'd say high is a state of exalted magnitude. So, uh, How are you doing, both? Good. Right, stand before our rights. Time to separate the wrong from the right. It's time to put an end to criminalization and let cannabis work free all across the nation. This is a public statement. I do not consent to any rules. Here I am eating some cannabis. If there's anybody here, if, if anybody here thinks they've got the right to come up to me and put me in handcuffs and take it away and take money out of me and put me in jail, you are flipping nuts. So I'm honored to be here and to be part of this great movement and to publish Europe's first dope magazine in 77. 
to 1982. And I say one love, and it's brought us all together. And I've met such magical people through the herb, the healing herb. And we will liberate cannabis. One love. One love. Thank you, everybody. Stewing dabs or edibles You can consume your ganja in any way you choose But what should I wear